Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Nesto. Welcome back to my channel. So today's Sunday. I had two tasks this morning. Uh, one I was able to finish, and it was like uh, recalking a bathtub and putting up a, a ring solar-powered uh, floodlight on the outside on brick. And then now it's a, it's a, uh, I just got done with my second one, but I didn't actually do it. I didn't actually invoice it. We rescheduled it for next week to give me time to get the materials and all that that we need and um i thought i'd make a video um, I, th I thought i'd make a video for you guys about uh just to give you a tip on task rabbit or really anything any other kind of business that you do and uh when i started you know when i when i was first starting ta task rabbit i would get a i would book a job and then um, when I had to block out how much I had to estimate how much time I had to block out for it I would overdo it. I would block out too much time If I thought something was gonna take me an hour I would block out an hour and a half maybe even two hours just because I was, I was afraid something was gonna go wrong and I was gonna be stuck there and what that does is uh, It gives you you know if you do that to three jobs you could have fit a fourth job in that day, you know what I mean? Or if you if you do that to two jobs, you could have fit you could have you could have fit a third job in that day. So I would say over time, trust your instincts, trust your estimates, so that um you could you could ask you could book the, the correct time. Now uh, if I think that something's gonna take me 45 minutes, I'll only block out an hour. You know, I'm not gonna try to block out an hour and a half hour and a half for a worst case scenario. So trust your estimate. And uh, after you do that, on um, TaskRabbit sp specifically, whatever time you block out, you won't be able to get hired until a half hour after that time. So you'll notice when um, when you block out your time, what you think it's gonna take, and then it's, and then after that it shows your availability, like the green part, and uh, say. You you say you say your job's gonna take to eleven, and then you see your availability starting at eleven. It actually doesn't start at eleven; it starts at eleven thirty. So sometimes you might want to play around with that. If you think a job's only gonna take you a half hour, you know what I mean. You, after you block out that time, after you, after you block out a whole hour, go into the task rabbit and move your availability up a half hour so that you could possibly get a job starting at that same time that that first job's supposed to be ending. So that's one tip you could do and uh <clears throat> since you're going to be putting your jobs closer together another tip i'd have to give you is uh don't rush on your jobs to try to get to your next job on time that's something that i've done a lot i don't want to be late to my next job so i kind of even even if i don't think about it even if i don't do it on purpose i rush my job to get it done so i could be be to the next job on time and I would say don't do that take your time you know relax take a breath contact the next client let them know you're gonna be late most people I've never had anybody have any problem with it I usually send them a message some you know let them know as soon as you know that you're gonna be late as soon as you see like okay this job's gonna take me another 40 minutes you know I'm not gonna be be there on time let them know as soon as you as soon as you can I always send them a message something along the lines of Hey, uh, uh, the job that I'm at is taking longer than expected. Is it okay if we could push this to start a half hour later, whatever, whatever time? And uh, for the most part, people are usually are usually okay with it because on Task Rabbit, on Task Rabbit especially, where you know we, we say we're going to be there at three o'clock, we're going to be there at three o'clock, whatever. Most contractors, most uh, businesses that come to your house or stuff like, they give you windows. They give you, we'll be there from you know nine to ten. We'll be there. We'll be there from eight to ten. From so some some even give you four hour windows. We'll be there between eight and twelve. So just the fact that Task Rabbit, you might have to bother somebody to, to start a half hour later. It's not. It's, it's really not a big deal for people. They usually have that time available anyway. And so I would say, because I have to sometimes I have to catch myself when I do this. So I have to tell myself like, okay, you know, don't rush. Even if, even if it's like. Um, like I know what I have to do and it's just tedious to get it done, you know, to get to my next job. I always remind myself, 
slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You know, because when you because when you rush, you're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna drop things, you're gonna misplace things. So take your time, let the client know. Communication's key. Most people won't have a problem with it. And uh yeah, man, that's that's my tips for you guys. Trust your estimates, get them closer together. If you think a job's only gonna take you 20 minutes because you've done it so many times before. After you block out that hour, that minimum hour, go on your task availability and move your availability up so that you could uh, get hired uh, closer closer to the to the end of the the first task. And then also, don't rush. You know, I was at a dentist's office and they had you know how at a dentist's office you go there at that time that you you're supposed to have your appointment and you wait there another 30, 40 minutes, and they had a sign that said, "We appreciate your patience." Uh, we tr we give every client you know our best effort and whatever like we 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 do the best for every client and sometimes it might take it might take us longer than expected and but when it's your turn we will do the same to you we'll do the same for you you know we're gonna take care of you as well and that kind of made me not mad when I was sitting there in the in the office waiting because I was like okay cool and. That's kind of the, the message you, you give clients when you send them a message, say, hey, I'm at a job and it's taking longer, longer than expected. You're also giving them that message that when I get to your job, even though even if I have a job after you, uh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to take my time. You know, I'm not going to rush through your job as well, you know. But, you know, take my tips, use them, don't use them, do whatever you want. Um, Task Rabbit update. Um, I'm on it, dude. I've been on it this whole time. I've, I've been gone. I've been doing it. I've been working. Uh, oh, you know, early in the year, it was kind of slow, kind of picking up right now. This week's kind of slow, looking kind of slow, but it's providing. It's, pro it's providing plenty of plenty of work. You know, here I am on a Sunday. Uh, partly because on Friday I had to I had to reschedule some jobs, I had to move some things around because my little girl was sick, and uh, I did one job and then. And it's Friday morning, and then we, you know, we worried we had to take her to immediate care. You know, we kind of worried about it, so I rescheduled the, the, my afternoon job, and then immediate care is like, no, you got to take her to the ER. So now we rescheduled my, I rescheduled my later job, and you know, at least I have the ability to do that. You know, and I don't have to ask anybody except the client, and I just I just let them know, hey, I got a sick kid, can we reschedule for Saturday or? Or, you know, I always just say, can we reschedule? When I send a message like that, I always say, can we reschedule for this day at this time or any time this day or anything like that? Just so that they don't feel like that I'm just trying to wiggle out, wiggle out of doing some, you know, wiggle out of doing their, their job. Because if you just say, hey, I have a sick kid, I can't make it today. Can we reschedule? And there's like a back and forth of what day and what time, this and that. It's like they kind of get a feeling like maybe this guy's just making it up, you know? But yeah, those that that job that I ended up, um, one of those jobs was just like uh, you know door locks, you know those smart door locks. Yesterday I did two smart door locks and and uh, Arlo video camera. Uh, e easy easy peasy jobs. I love the smart door locks. Um, this this one did take me a while because the door was out of the door itself was out of uh, alignment. Uh, I don't know if the previous previous uh, the if the client tried to do them themselves or something, but they they broke off the one of the screw heads, so I had to kind of get you know extract it. But you know they left me a five star review saying you know that I took care of all the jobs and even though the door was all messed up, which is always it's always like the screws coming out of the hinges or like the screws the hinge the hinge has the screws attached to the to the door to the frame. And those are stripped or whatever, and they're coming loose, so that makes the door tilt tilt down and whatever, not not close right. I usually, I, you know, I keep like three inch uh, screws that pass. You know, you you take out those little door hinge screws, and then you put a long screw that that hits the the board behind behind the uh, the frame that hits the actual frame, and you know that usually just jacks it jacks the door right back to where it needs to be. But yeah, man, I haven't been seen, haven't talked to you guys in a while. But Test Rabbit is chugging along. You know, 
if I put myself available, I usually get something. It's been kind of slow up and down a little bit, but oh, and also my, my rate. I'll tell you guys about my rate right now. It's at the lowest it's been in a while. I'm at $75 an hour. Um, you know, in the summer, I'm like, I'm like at 90. But when it got slow last month, I was like, I, I, I dropped it down to 80. It was still, it was still kind of slow. I dropped it down to 75. Just because I looked at, I looked myself up, you know, and, and looked up my competition and all my competitions, like at $60, even at $75, I'm still one of like the, the more expensive ones, you know, that pop up on the first page. So I dropped it down to 75 because TaskRabbit is doing some shady stuff where they do like a high demand charge, like a search fee, but they pass it off as our hourly rate. You know what I mean? Like. If I put my rate at seventy-five dollars an hour, I'll show up at seventy-seven dollars an hour because they added a two, two dollar an hour search fee, but they're not calling it that. They're they're making it seem like it's it's coming from me. But so you know, I I dropped it to eighty, but then they add a two dollar search fee, so then it looks like I'm at eighty-two dollars, which makes me sound even more expensive. So, and just just you know, don't worry about the. I guess you kind of have to worry about, you know, when you look up your, your rate and it tells you like you're in the green, you're in the yellow. I think I'm in the yellow for most of them. In the summer, I'm in the red. What's more important is you look up where you're at in the algorithm, like how, where you show up and your competition. You know what I mean? Like, like the, that's the actual market. The people up and uh, above you and below you on, on the search, how much they're charging. That's, that's the actual market. Not, not what TaskRabbit's um, little indicated thing says. And I've played around with it and it didn't really move me much. You could play around with it, you know, raise your rate, then look yourself up, lower your rate, look yourself up. And it didn't really move me up and down on the algorithm. So I don't think it plays that big of a, of a part. I think what plays more of a part is booking a job, answering quickly, scheduling it quickly, getting it done and getting a review. I think that's, that's what's more important. And the more you do that, the more you get bumped up. That's what it seems like to me. Um, you know, not so many, I, th I think now they're like, they're adding like for the elite stuff, like they don't want you to cancel jobs. They don't, oh no, they don't want you to refuse jobs. They don't want you to forfeit jobs. So like if you get 10 jobs, they want you to at least take nine of them or whatever. I think nine, nine might, e might even, if you only get 10 jobs, I think you have to take 10 jobs. Cause I think they want like a 96%, um, you know, job approval, you know, so if you get 10 jobs and one of them you're like oh this is you know this is, i don't do this you know whatever for whatever reason no this requires special skills whatever and you forfeit it then you're at 90 percent. you wouldn't be elite next month but it you know obviously you, you you're hoping to get like 20 20 jobs or whatever you're you're hoping to get more than the 10 jobs so if you forfeit one you know it's, it's still you'll still pass or whatever but uh, i'm not sure how, i'm not really sure how much elite elite how many people filter by elite or show me elite only i'm not really sure how much that that matters I'm hoping by the end of march yeah by the end of march a couple of weeks i'll probably get it back up to 80. by the end of april i'll try to get back up to 90. i'm, I'm, I'm hoping that the weather cooperates and everybody's feeling good and everybody's trying to do their spring projects <clears throat> but yeah man that's it just want to make a video uh just to get back on youtube and because uh i'm at 998 subscribers and i was like i i gotta make some videos and at least get to a thousand and you know at least have that that milestone you know so i'm gonna try to uh, make videos i'm not promising anything man as you can see i got my three kids my little girl took me out of work last week my my son man it's like i've we've never i've me and my family have never been more sick more constantly than this last you know winter if it's not one kid it's the other if it's not the other it's the other but you know last year <clears throat> last year i haven't you know, my my daughter was a baby and i did take it like you know I, I worked very little i worked like four days a week maybe and i'm really grateful i was able to do that i spent a lot of time with her watching her grow and but this year she's one and um I'm gonna I'm gonna grind more. I'm gonna have to hustle more. So, 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put myself available, dude, and just just do it. You know, whatever. If I gotta work five six days a week, just try to stack up that cheddar. You know what I mean? But if Tash Rabbit keeps giving me the opportunity, man, then I'm gonna keep taking it. My daughter, you know, my daughter doesn't need so much attention because she's she's not a baby anymore, and that frees me up a little bit. And I mean, I don't care, dude. I'll I'll work all day, every day, you know. That's just that's just me. If I get paid by the hour, I'll work 24 hours. You know, what's what's well, how else are you gonna do it? Luckily, Tash Rabbit, you don't have to do that. You could also just raise your rate. So, yeah, wish me luck. Good luck to you guys this this year on whatever you do, Uber, uh, Tash Rabbit, whatever you, you whatever you're doing, whatever gig you're doing. There's even though like it kind of sucks, you got to pay taxes this and that. You got you if you do this already. Then you already know, man. A nine to five for twenty dollars an hour is is that's not even worth it. You know what I mean? That's that's not even enough. So keep doing your side gig. Keep having that independence, that liberty, that freedom to uh, choose your schedule. You already know tax write-offs. You know everybody. Oh no! Well, you, you gotta you gotta put put away half for taxes. This doesn't count. You know, that's not your real earnings because you gotta take off half. Like, no, dude. You know, um, deduct it, deduct everything you can. You know what I mean? Deduct materials, tools, uniforms, cell phone, internet. Because we use our cell phone for Task Rabbit for the apps. We use it, we have to pay our internet. You know, for whatever you, you know. You know, you know what I mean, dude. Uh, it's, for me, it's still way better than a nine to five. Even if I was getting paid like twenty dollars an hour, I, I wouldn't trade it. Like I, I've thought about like going back to work, and I did the math, and it's the math ain't mathing, dude. It's not enough. It's just not enough, dude. Um, and we'll see what other uh, business ventures I get into. I might have something. I might have to. I might uh, have an in on the window washing kind of thing. Um, I'm not sure about that one yet, but. Someone's, I think someone's willing to give me like 12 locations um, to do and stuff like that. So if they give it to me and I do those, then you know I'll let you guys know about it. That'd be that'd be something new for me. Even though obviously, obviously window washing is not new for me, but doing that as a business, I'll let you guys know if, if that goes through and how that goes. But yeah, man, talk to you guys next time.